This short video is on relationship diagram. For this example, we are looking at the car claims data. The data tracks the, the car information, the car insurance coverage information and the customer information. And based on that, we are trying to estimate the total claim amount. When you create new data exploration, the first thing that you see in the right panel is a relationship diagram. It's a diagram that shows the relationships among column in your data. How are those relationships determined? Those are based on running some statistical analysis behind the scene. What you see across the top here is a set of fields of interest or the fields that we might be interested in exploring. Like perhaps if I was not sure what columns are in my data, there we go, Cognos has it all figured out for me. It believes that I might be interested in analyzing what influences total claim amount perhaps, and maybe developing my models to predict the total claim amount if we know the employment status, if we know number of policies that the person has, we know the monthly premium, we know the person's income, vehicle class, and the coverage types that the person has. So over here, the dark circle represents the total claim amount, which is target in our case. Other circles represent other columns, right? And if you see the connecting line, it means that there is a relationship among the columns, right? Like for example, I see the connecting line between total claim amount and marital status. And if I hover over the connecting line, I'm gonna see the relationship strengths. For example, the relationship strengths between marital status and total claim amount is 18%. The thicker is the line, the stronger is the relationship. In addition to showing relationship between the target and other columns, I also see, we also see the relationships among other columns. Like for example, over here, we see the relationship between vehicle class and monthly premium, right? And if I hover, I see the strength is 38%. This diagram can be used as a starting point for my visualizations. This is what I need to do. I need to click on the total claim amount. If I click on total claim amount, it's gonna give me the potential visualizations that I might be interested in about the total claim amount. For example, we could look at the, uh, the driver analysis or we could look at the total claim amount by employment status. And if I'm interested in specific starting point, I can click on a plus sign and that would add this visualization card to my exploration workbook and I could later go in and modify the card. All right, so let's close this out. I could also select more than one column. For example, I'm gonna hold the control key and also I'm going to select the income. Then the suggested visualizations will be adjusted accordingly, right? And I can select another visualization that I want to add to my exploration workbook, right? So this is what means what it means by starting points, all right? Here, I could try to check other potential targets. For instance, I maybe I'm interested in monthly premium auto. If I do that, my visualization here, my relationship diagram here will be adjusted where I have a new target, right? Monthly premium auto is my new target and here, it shows me the relationships for that target, which is C policy and monthly premium in info, and the relationship strength is about 45% and etc. Right. But probably I would stick with the field with the column that it identified first. All right, that was a short video on relationship in your data. Thank you very much for watching this video.